All right, Jill, I hope we're there. And I do want to give you guys a tip. I, I do think, because I train dogs very early in the morning. At like 5.30 in the morning. Dogs do train good early in the morning. You know, if you're honestly waiting till noon or something, they just don't train as good. You know, and not that you never want to train them at that time, but if you said, well, I want everything to go as good as possible, then of course you're going to say to yourself, you know, I want to find the best time that this dog trains, learns, whatever you call it. So he's already platform conditioned. And I'm just going to show you guys how I'm making the leap, you know, from... Ah! If you said, what was that, uh, Jill? Uh, hello, Miriam. That was him jumping on the... Uh, oh, look at him go. I'm going to tell you, he's going to have a default of coming back. Wait and see. But, you know, the way you're doing it is you're... Yeah, here he comes, just like I said. Yay! Yay! And I am going to reward that. Okay, so job one, you're going to get the collar on. You know, this is the messy part. As Chelsea said, these people claim they ed uh, don't edit out the messy part. It's all messy. So he's got a lot of movement, but I've got my stronger pager. And I know I've got a dog that I can get on that platform without saying anything. So all I have to, you know, I'm not saying to myself, he's not looking at me, he's watching everything I do. So he believes that's his idea. That's the complete opposite of me saying, yeah, 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 you know. I didn't do it again, he'll fall for it over and over. That's your job. They, they fall for the fakey arm movement. You know, if we thought we made an observation about a dog, look, its tail goes to the side when it's getting ready to do something, you would just take that as fact. So he's not seeing the fakiness of the arm movement. I asked the crazy part. He's not seeing the fakiness, he's just making a conclusion when he sees it, it's taking off. You know, and I've already set myself up for that. I can start shaping it a little bit more by just, I'm already looking there, now he looks there. I look, he looks, he's looking his options. There goes the hand, boom. Yay! So this is what you maybe need to warm up, Jill. You need to do it maybe after, you know, when you get home from school or if you have to get up early or whatever, you know, before Jackson even gets up. So it's just you and the dog. And your sessions are very, very short. They're short and exciting. You know, this dog is not saying to us, oh God, I'm bored to tears with her. My job is to get this collar on. So you've got to do it as you're going to have the food and don't cut your strap. Just going to make it as incidental as possible. Yay! I'll throw in a little yay, but I'm definitely not looking. I want the dog to say to the other dog, what was that about? I don't know, nothing. It's just something they do. No, no, that means we're getting ready to act all oh, hinky. So I can work on the leash a little bit for you, girl. Let me grab a leash. I thought he was getting the phone. He was actually just getting the dumbbells down. What a good boy. All right, that's my fault. And you can't have them around. You've got to kind of put them up. They need to be in a cabinet somewhere. Don't be like me. I hope you're there, Jill. Let me know if you're there. Anyway, I do have my leash. And I've already got a dog I've got moving around a little bit. I knew to put the brakes on. I saw where he was headed. So I want to get my leash on there. 
And I don't want to get in situations where I'll set off training around the neighborhood. Oy, oy, oy. Again, people want to go training around their neighborhood at 6 o'clock at night with their family and the kids pulling a wagon and the mom's pushing a stroller and, you know, and then every neighbor dog is barking and then they wonder why they can't get them trained. Uh, so I'm getting the leash on as surgically as possible. And I don't want it to be, and that's the only leash I could find. It's not very good. But I want the dog to understand, you know, if I said the pagers, oh my God, I'm gonna have to go put a bark collar on that awful dog. Uh, there is such a thing, it's just an awful dog. Um, you know, the pager is a soft demarcation line. This is much more defined. So we have the same expectation. If it hits the end, we want it coming back in our direction. So, you know, I don't want, I'm not going to be able to, if you said, well, you should start out doing a bunch of corrections, then you should go to your trained retrieve. I'd say, oh, no, that won't work. Because then they don't want to do it. So I just want him to see, here's the leash, and it's just the same behavior. I'm on zero. And I think he's got the little, that was sleight of hand. He's gonna see my hand opening up. Listen. getting corrected for trying to go over there. I'm just using that. So there's my technical turn. I'm holding the pager down the whole time for watch. Pager, boom. I, I had to have trained him on this before, surely. Surely he's not that good. All right, watch. Wilson. So my, the precursor to the pager was the leash being let out. If a dog starts to pull me, I just go, go. I don't have any chance. And then I just go this way. All right, so now I can get him back up there. Yay. And I do. I, want, I think the leash and the platform go really, really good together because you can have it out in front of the dog. Because if you said, ideally, where would you be with your leash? You'd be able to rudder the dog around. And if you said, what's that? Have the leash like this in the front of the dog. All right, so watch. I'm gonna try to keep it there. And it's not as easy as it looks because they do move around a lot. So I'm gonna have the little hands. Wilson. So I'm keeping the leash in front. I'm maintaining the leash being in front the whole time. In order to continue to do that, I have to add another turn. Wilson. But I'm only going to do the turn away for right now, girl. You can add the turn towards yourself. So it, it, this is the most important thing, too. And if you said, what is it? It's a subtask of heel. The subtask being, I don't want the leash made tight. So if the leash can't be made tight, then we're only operating within this boundary without making the leash tight. It's not that hard. All right, watch. Wilson. There's my turn. So watch. I'm right there. So he's right beside me, and I'm not trying to go fast. Ryan, if you're there, this is where you get in trouble. You're trying to go real fast, and then kind of cut the dog off and stuff. And he's like, that's not what I did. All right, but watch. I'm doing it slow in the beginning. Step, 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 step. Pause, step, step. Dog in training. 
And I'm, I'm, using the, I'm using the pager to get him back up there, too. So, you know, nothing I've done has killed off anything that I can't do my retrieve now. And sometimes you might want to just come out and do it as a separate thing, but I'm... Oh, I'm squeezing everything into one episode for Jill. Jill's the number one. Jill's our number one. Hi, Shy. Uh, Jill's my number one protege. Uh, you need to try to be like her, Shy. I was going to give up on everyone and everything until Jill was able to get the dog fetching in one day. You need to be doing this too, Shy. If you said I can't get dogs to fetch, I'd say that's awful because this girl, Jill, she, she could do it in one day. All right, so I'm going to just move my wagon. at the dog. I'm purposely trying to factor him out of the whole thing. Still not looking at the dog. Alright, okay. right, so I've got my dumbbells. And Jerry, if you're there, this is the difference. I'm not throwing anything in the beginning. I'm just dumping the dumbbells out. So it's all, yay! It's all implied. Even when I take that one, I'm still already so interested in those other ones. Oh, yay! 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 Okay, okay, yay! Oh, that was a little bit weak. Oh, he's only getting a C minus on that one, Jill. Yay! Oh, shh, shh, shh. A plus, A plus. Yay! You know, it's got to be believable. I want him to look at me and think, what? Yay! You know, what is this thing looking at? It's only gonna benefit you for this dog to Yay! understand you better. Oh, he's just like a little dog genius, girl. So, you know, if you said, how is that factoring the pager in? One, you've made the pager occur all around by the platform, off the platform, back onto the platform. These ones that I have that have a train to retrieve, I'm sending them off the platform with the pager. You know, the pager is already there. You're, you're just kind of adding the dumbbell in. You're not trying to add, you know, like nine things at one time. You're just, the pager is already there. You can already get them to, to come and go with the pager. So then you're just adding the dumbbell in there. So, oh, look, we can work on his default a little bit, see if we can get him sitting. So with that, you have to be ready. There's no, I know it seems strange, but there's really no, you're really just not saying anything. If you try to start telling them to do so, yay, you really risk failure. So you could work it from here with one like this just by giving them the treat there. You see what I'm saying, Jill? I'm not luring him down, that's just, <laughs> He looked at her, he looked at me, but then I looked away. And there are times you need to be, oh yeah, no, I want him to go. I'll pretend like I'm talking on my phone. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm hmm Yes, Jill, Wilson's fine. Uh-huh. Yes, no, I've been giving him 10 hugs a day. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, I gotta go, I gotta go give him some more hugs. <laughs> Jill's like, what? <laughs> but you see, he did default to sitting down. If you think the dog knows any difference between doing that, doing this, or doing that with the real phone, oh, they don't. So I didn't give him the treat sideways that time just because I only had crumbs, but I think you see what's going on. Um, you know, and I'm just building that up. If you said, how would you build it up? I mean, you could put it farther away. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, you're making things bigger. You're making things bigger, and then if that's not working, you make them a little bit smaller, you know, so they're more successful. And you have to think of, you know, what's age appropriate. So, but you said, what was that? That was some kind of default. So he's already got that behavior is there, Jill. What you've got to say is... You know, I have to factor myself in. Okay, watch this. Wilson! So, 
You see how well that worked. And I don't know if there's something over there. The, the bulldog was, when I let the dogs out this morning, was booger barking at something. And so then I was freaking out, getting all the dogs in the kennel, because I said, what if it's a possum or something? I don't want these massive dogs going after it. But now I think whatever it was might be in that tree over there, because shoe bottom's barking at it. It might be a raccoon or something. All right, you guys, I think you got the right idea. I hope you're there, Jill, and I'm going to do... Henry's supposed to be on his way over here to work today. All right, look, so now he's gone back out there again. And I'm not going to call him back. And if you said why, because I know I can get him back. I'm not going to wear it out. I do remember that one day now uh, that we did do the pager on him. So you've got to be careful. We don't want to hyper-concentrate the dog coming to us when there really isn't any reason. You know, we really just want to save that for game day. You know, when Jackson accidentally opens the door and just then the neighbor kid's going by with the dog and just, that's what, you know, that's what you've got to understand. You're, the, this tool is giving you the, you know, the reaction time you're going to need. So, anyway, he's way over there now. Oh, she's way over there. Shoe bottom's beating him up. See? What did I do? I let the pager up. That's when he stopped, and I added the pager again. And if you said, where are you going with that? That's where you're going to add the nick later, Jill. And I'm going to tell you why. If you said why, because it's an obvious refusal. And if you said, what's the problem? I can't hold a candle to shoe bottom. Look at her. She jumps around. She's big and fun. She's throwing a stick up in the air. I'm not that fun. So, anyway, I'm out of treats, but I'm going to go uh, get puppy Casper out. But uh, I'm going to do a little group recall video. But, you know, that's how I'm kind of piecing things together. If I were you and this was your training session at home, then I, now I would be putting the dog in the crate. I wouldn't just be, okay, well, now start walking around. You've got to make the time, your time seem more like quality time rather than, oh, all day, every day. They're here all day, every day. So you've got to have some separation where they're not there. So anyway, guys, I'll be right back with the puppy.